Hey guys, it's Pro Play Games Team Captain Eddie Sanhalea here with. Hey guys, Marcel Russell. And today we're going to do a battle series. It's going to be Sun Goku versus my Mass Saiyan deck. Hey guys, so today I chose to switch it up from Vegeta a little bit. I went to actually go to the dark side literally and chose this leader right here. The reason why I chose this leader, the Mass Saiyan, is because I feel like in this format where it's just heavy with veggies and heavy with a whole bunch of just shenanigans going on in the field. You could just clear a board while just maintaining 8 life because 9 out of 10 times they're not going to want to attack you and just give you more cards. And if they do, that's just plus for you. Alright, guys, okay, so I'm going to be running Sun Goku leader. Um, the objection one, pretty much, that you start with an extra energy. Uh, I'm going to be running the Veggie engine alongside the new Tornament Power Maidens engine. Combine them and try to make a spicy green deck list for this leader. Alright guys, so to start it off, we're going to hit the legendary die roll. So I like to do things different. Instead of just higher low roll, I like to axe even our odds. So Marcel, even our odds. Uh, I'll take evens. Evens. Sorry, we roll it. And it is two, so Marcel will go first. So, I think I'm going to keep my early game drops. Since this leader starts at two energy, you're going to keep two drops and lower. So we're going to keep him. And the rest can just go back for now. Alright, so with my hand... I like to put the cards together before I decide to mulligan. So what I tell people when I'm playing the game, I like to keep my hand in the story. So whether I'm building a deck or whether I'm looking at my hand, I keep it in the same order, which I always do. So right now, I want to keep these one drops because my leader, unless awakened, doesn't gain hand advantage. So I want to keep these. This, I'm going second. So I want to keep this because if he doesn't, well, I'm not going to say anything on that, but you want to keep that going second. <laughs> and to awaken, you want to keep the cards that awaken you and plus you want to clear board. So keep these. These two are literally for energy, and these two I want to just get from my deck, so I'm going to put these two back in. Alright guys, I'm going to go first. Uh, this is a pretty good opening hand here. We got our first few plays set out for us, and we want to keep these for a little bit later in the game. And right now we're going to use our non-green card to activate our leader's ability. When we have no energy, we're going to discard a card from our hand to take two cards in our life and add it as energy. Alright, that is a terrible start. For energy, we actually are a green deck, so we're nothing that we can do for a few turns from now, so we're just going to pass turn. Alright guys, so I'm going to draw for turn. If I draw for turn, you see like I told you, keep your hand as a sword book so you can know exactly how much cards is in your hand, exactly what you need to do. So I'm looking at, I want to hold these, I want to hold these. This is pretty much not useful right now, so what I'm going to do is charge this, guess exactly what it's used for. Just charging. And combo power. So what I want to do now, guys, is go ahead and before I mill, I want to use my searcher because you don't want to throw off your searches. So I'm going to tap one, look at the top seven. One, two, there it is, boys. Three, four, five, six, seven. So looking at this, I have two available targets, which are these two. I would take this right now, but seeing my hand, I have these two, it makes no sense because they essentially the same thing. So what I'm going to do is, he has six life. So I had six life, I'm not going to lie guys, I'm going to take him anyway. It, it could never hurt because at six, if it was at eight life, I would definitely not have chose this. If it was at eight life, I would have chosen this because you don't want to just give him cards, but I'm not going to do that. So now that Deck thinning is deck winning, guys. Don't forget that. So now that I deck thinned, I'm at mill three. So one, that hurts. Two, that hurts a lot, guys. <laughs> what is three, going on that today? super hurts, guys. So, <laughs> oh man. So right now, weird game. since Massan milled a black card, it's crit. Since it milled a red card, it also gains an additional 5k boost. So what I want to do now, guys, is actually think this through. Because you see he's playing Gohans. So if I were to attack just blameless here right now, he could stop my attack off one thing with just one Gohan. And the question you got to ask yourself is, is that really viable? Like, would that hurt me? So what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'll explain it to you why I'm going to attack. So I'm just going to attack his leader right now. Do you have any counters? I won't have no negates. So he has no counters, guys. So right now... I could choose to combo this and make it even so if he gohans me, it's worthless. But I'm just going to choose not to combo and just end that 15, 15 crit. crit. So Gohan would survive it and would still have another card on the board. But honestly, they're already in my energy. I don't have much 
left my deck. I don't have it. I'm just going to lose the first life card to crit. All right, guys. Now, the reason why I said it honestly didn't matter if he had Gohan and stopped my attack is because if he had the Gohan to stop my attack, it really doesn't hurt me because if he doesn't attack with Gohan, he just wasted it for no reason. And I was going to clear it next turn with my board clearing guys. So I'm just right here going to look at my hand and just pass turn. Another, another interesting thing here is that since he crit me and got a card in my discard pile, uh, this is one of the cards I do want in my discard pile, so that's actually pretty beneficial for me. Alright, so I'm going to draw for turn. Alright, got a got a high cost card that uh, I'm not going to use for a while, so I'm just going to charge his energy, because I don't need it right now. So Oof. I'm going to charge that. Still, all my cards cost double green. This is a really unfortunate start, but I'm just going to have to wait it out and pass turn until I get enough green energy. Hey okay, yeah, guys, so we'll untap. Draw for turn, double strike Champa. Ah, oh, so close, guys. So, I look at my hand. I need to get there. I need to get the energy, guys. So, bear with me. I'm gonna charge this bad boy right here. So, the same thing on the same premise as last time, guys. Deck thing is deck winning. So, I'm gonna tap one. It's colorless energy. Tap one. Look at the top seven. One, two, three. He keeps coming up, guys. Four, five. <laughs> Six, seven. Bom, 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 bom. So right now, guys, Marcel has two, four, five cards. five cards in hands. So what I will choose to do, since he has five cards in hand, I will still grab another one of this guy, because essentially what he's doing, I guess he's trying. Like I said, I'm not really familiar with this deck, but I'm guessing he's looking for a way to just spam the board, because. He did say he was playing veggies, so I just want to be prepared. So when the veggies do come out, or when he actually does bring out creatures, I could board clear while also putting pressure on him. So because if he doesn't have creatures on board in a little bit, it's going to get really bad really soon. So I'll shuffle up, pass to Marcel. You're not going to attack? To, to wake me? No? Oh, I'm definitely going to attack, my friend. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Six. So I'm gonna mill three. One. Guys, bear <laughs> with me now, guys. <laughs> Two, bear with me still, guys. <laughs> and three. So he is at <laughs> 15k crit. 15k critical right now, guys. I know it hurts, man. Trust me, it hurts me more than it hurts you watching this, guys. Trust me. <laughs> so what I'll do now is attack your leader. I will declare no negates. You have no counters? No. Alright, I have no combos. 15k crit. Ah, good thing it wasn't double strike, so that's not bad. All right, so now we're at four life. That's pretty good. So now he has four life, guys. So now essentially everything I bring out, he's gonna try to stop it because he doesn't want to just get throttled down. Even though he untaps and awakens, yeah, he'll draw two cards, but he has to pitch a card now. The only thing that would really hurt me is if he has to go on. But once again, I'm at eight life, so if he attacks me, I don't really mind. Cause I'm just gonna take a card. So what I'm gonna do now is. Banish. I have to banish. At, I have to remove from play over for over realm. That's the correct term, guys. Over realm. It's not even removed from play. It's actually. Yeah, the, the correct warp. term is over realm. I apologize. So I'm gonna over realm four, at least four, which I have more, to summon mirror. So with this mirror, right, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and attack him. I'll declare no negates. So he declares no negate. So realistically, you should not stop at 2k because he'll be at 15. He's gonna awaken and be at 15. So the minimum attack I want to do right now is at least 25. You got to realize there's a magic number in this game because right now this is forcing him, hey, if you super combo, it's still not enough. If you go on me, it's still not enough. So what I'm going to do is look at my hand again. And also, you got to realize this is my hand, guys. So you got to plan for next turn. So if I mill, if I put this right right here and stop and I mill three off rip, I'm going to have four and drop for next turn. So right now I feel comfortable because I'm not really, he's going to be in the lead. He'll have seven cards in hand so if he takes it he'll lose a life so right now i'm just gonna stop at 25 guys and end my combo all right i'm going to awaken i draw two with this leader so i draw two cards not looking too good here 25 is pretty difficult for me to out combo with this hand so and even if he does stop it guys unless it's a super combo he is still gonna lose two cards from hand so it's essentially like he didn't awaken <clears throat> so he took the crit damage the comma goes to the drop and mirror gets warped at the end phase okay. and it is your turn my friend untap untap draw 
Now I find the way out of that attack, but it's too late. You found a way, guys. We're gonna charge this card. It's an extra card. We already have a way to use it. Since we're awakened now, we can draw with our leader swing. Let's think about our return a little bit longer here. What's the best play for this? Um, if this card was in the discard pile, we'd be able to use this card to bring both cards back, which would be pretty interesting. But we did see him search for mass saints, which can warp our cards, which is pretty dangerous. So guys, while he's taking the time to think, this is what I like to do a lot in events. People don't like it, they say I'm being rude, but always look through your opponent's cards. Always make sure you're aware of what they have. If you don't know what the card does, like I said, I'm not really too familiar. So don't be afraid to pick up the cards arena. Yeah, ask him, but I know Marcel, he's not going to say no. And players technically can't say no. But just doing a pipe, man, don't just grab and slam their cards. Don't be gentle with their cards. Like, treat their cards how you want people to treat your cards. Just go ahead and read it. When they're ready to play, let them know you're giving their cards back. All right, I'm ready to continue. I'm going to swing with my leader just to draw more cards and see what okay. else I can do. Okay, he swings with his leader. I'm going to look at my hands. I'm going to go ahead and say no counters. All right, we're going to draw a card now. All right, we draw more pieces that are a bit too late in the game for, to start summoning because it's too dangerous to go any lower in life. And we're going to say no. Well, we're going to try something here. We're going to combo up to 20 with Maiden Squadron and Rosie and try to get her in the discard pile. So 20k, single strike, no combo. All right, guys. So we already know I'm taking his damage, but the reason why I'm going to stop here for the gameplay, because I'm going to actually read these cards, because there's a reason why he's comboing with this, because literally he has 15, he drew a card. There's no point of him comboing, because he knows no matter what, to stop this attack, I have to go two cards, which is not going to happen. So take the time, like I said, to understand what your opponent is trying to do. So I see Rubran, or this is made in of Squadron Rosie. They really have no use. So obviously he's trying to get into this card pile. So right now I take the time to analyze. Because what your opponent puts on his energy is a telltale sign. They put it on his energy. They don't want to hide it from you. Go ahead and read it. So right now he has three different maiden cards. I don't know what they do. Can't, this this card can not get picked up by uh, the extra card. The extra card targets Kakusa and Rosie. Maiden. So this uh, is pretty much he's going to grab two. Because they're four This less. guy, holy smokes, guys. This guy is nasty. Or a girl. 20k oh that's what I read out 20k double sh no, dual 20k attack, dual attack. So if you were to reborn, that's gonna be in your drop. Choose two maiden squadrons with energy cost of four low. That's four. Hey, why, don't that's just, four. why don't you just let me play it out and show everybody how this works? So it's four much four. Just take okay, the 20. So I'm gonna take the life. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now this is cards in my discard pile. Now I'm gonna play Maiden Squadron instead of As you're my doing opponent that. trying to read the I'll explain it myself. Choose like two. Like this is Yu-Gi-Oh or something. Four or less. Add it to your job. That's pretty good. Guys. I summon these two four costs for just one card. It's from my discard pile, so I don't really lose that much hand advantage. Just I pay one card to summon two. It's pretty good, guys. Since these cards per, uh effects don't activate until all three are on board, uh I can't use the second half of their effects. Let me read these bad boys real quick. If Ruben and they, they, Rose they still have some pretty good effects 20K themselves. crit right now, single strike. And this one is just the blocker. All right. So usually when you attack with this card, and they're, if they're all the Maiden Squadrons are on the board, she untapped in the end of the turn. But uh, I'll just leave her face up for now, and she would gain dual attack crit. But single strike crit's still pretty good, so I'll I'll, I'll use it uh, and ask for any negates. I'll go ahead and declare no counters. I will not combo. So he's not comboing, guys. I'm not gonna lie, guys. it's too big to get over. He was right. It's pretty nasty. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> that's why crit is so devastating, guys. I, I see why you guys up. hate me using Vegeta. So I'll untap three energy at the end of my turn and pass. All right. All right. So I'll draw for turn. Untap, untap. Look at my hand. <clears throat> How many cards do you have in your hand? I have six cards. He has six cards in hand. So go on, are alive. So all that good stuff is life. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. He has three cards in life. Six to three. So I look. And honestly, guys, I'm gonna charge this bad boy. 
Oh, that card can get over blockers. So, I have no deck thinning. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and activate my ability to mill three. Okay. One, guys, bear with me now. <laughs> Two, <laughs> three. Okay. okay, 15k crit, guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think this is just Vegeta saying come back to me. But what I'll do now is he has six cards in hand with a blocker and a critical guy. I cannot let that survive like that because I will literally lose the game. So what I'll do is use my increasing evil mass saints. What increasing evil mass saints lets you do is let me take one from life. You have to use your warp. For oh yeah, I'll warp four after tapping the one. I take one from life and I get to warp of five or lower from the battle area to yes. the warp. So I will warp the blocker because you saw earlier I took the Mass Saiyan. Mass Saiyan could warp cards, but they cannot warp blockers. So I'll choose to warp. So this is very bad for me because I want her in the discard pile, not the warp to activate my extra card to summon her back. So good good play, Eddie. So and you got a greater of blockers. So that's really right. good. So what I'll do right now, guys, because the leader is 15 and it's not really awakened, I mean, it's not really a threat to me, like this battle attacker, because I have my increasing with my sand. I really know my three is at 15 base. So I'll do right now. I have to test the water to see if he has the go on or he has something to stop it. He has to have super combos, guys, because he's going to defend that. This, he doesn't really care because it's not really a threat. It's not going to have double attack until the other two on board. So right now, I'm going to swing at his leader. No negates. He says no negates. So right now, guys, just by not comboing, he has to burn a card because I don't think he wants to go down to two life because it's pretty dangerous for him Especially with critical yeah so what i'm gonna do now in order to just not lose kind of like a, a stalemate it's not really an advantage because i'm not awakened he's, he does have more cards than me when he attacks he's gonna end my end my combo okay. with nothing i'm gonna pitch a 5k to survive it okay so now what i'm gonna do guys is i have a choice to make this guy is critical but if he swings at me she'll awaken me so it is kind of a tough, a tough decision because if I swing at this, chances are he's just going to bring it back next turn. Maybe swing, attack with the leader, pitch another one, do the same thing and start to add up. So I really want this on board to either attack me. So what I'm going to do is just say, you know what? Swing at his leader. Uh, no negates. I have no combos. All right. Well, 20 is an easy number to get over, so I'll just super combo once to get okay. over that. So right now, guys, I'll just end my turn. Increasing it gets warped, and it's Marcel's turn. All right, I'll untap and draw. Well, I really wish that card was out here before he warped my other card. That would be great. So these Khalifas are just too dangerous to start playing at this low life, so I'm just going to charge them as energy or use them as combo fodder. All right, so... In this situation, we can actually finally use our Kabas here to try to find our Kales to kill us one drop, have a crit card, draw a card with five energy total because you can pay two to play the Kaba, reduce the green specified cost of Kale to make her only one green, which we have, and pay three total to summon her. So a five mana play is a Kaba into Kale. Hopefully we draw it off this play. Hopefully not, guys. That would be pretty bad. All right, so we're going to look at the top 10 to find the, the kill. And we found it round four, so we're just going to stop, because this is what we're looking for. It's not looking too good, guys. We're going to add her to our hand and shuffle up. So we're going to be hitting with a lot of crit cards right now. I know it will awaken him, but we can untap three and hopefully survive the next turn. Here we're going to go. All right. So we could swing with our leader to draw a card, but Kale also draws a card and gets rid of a combo piece on their board before they can start doing anything. Should have comboed it last turn, guys. Made it 25 even. So without Khalif out on the board, we're going to have to KO a card on our, our side. So to get value out of it, we're going to swing with Kaba first before we blow it up. So I will declare no counters because in this deck you'll see I do not run any counters. It's right, kind of rough. I'm gonna say no combos. So since he says no combos, I saw he just got the kill. My best bet is just to save my mass sand by comboing this to make it 15 to 10. All right, and I actually like that since this wasn't gonna be critical. So I 
kind of glad he did that. Um, tap three, reduce the cost for a kill, and we'll get a play kill here. Now we have two critical attackers, and Kale will draw us a card when we attack. It's pretty rough. We're gonna swing with that first. See what we get. It's the time leads. I wish I had Connors, but unfortunately I have no Connors. All right, we're gonna draw a card from Kale's auto. Add a card to our hand and declare no combos. Guys, this is my last super combo. I'm gonna cry. It's not. It's not. All right. So we're going to swing with our next crit card, Kakunsa. I have no gets. counters. Uh, we're going to say no combos here. We can't really afford to combo up. So right now here, guys, turn. I have six cards in hand. It's at 20 base. He, had, he also has six cards in hand. I have two routes I could take right now. I know he's going to untap three at the end. So I could just take my losses and not awaken. And see what happens. But since I just realized that he hasn't attacked with his leader yet, I'm definitely gonna awaken, guys. So uh let's do this right. Okay, so I'll awaken. Yep. A combo. Draw my two. One. There it is, guys. Two. There it is, guys. It's a sign. So now I know I definitely have to like stop this crit attack. So it's gonna burn me for me to do this, but <sighs> man. Yeah, guys, I have to give this up. It, it burns, but the crits, they add up quick, guys. And you don't want to just keep losing life for no reason. All right, now we're gonna swing for the last attack to draw a card. So, Indigates. I have no counters. I'm gonna draw, and I'm not gonna combo here. It's 15. So he chooses not to combo, so I have no reason to not take this, because he's gonna give me a card in hand, and I will just take it. All right, cool. I'm gonna pass turn, three energy up. Okay. Draw for turn. Mm -hmm. Guys, 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 this is insane. So, I could do the safe play right now. <laughs> or I can show you guys why I actually want to play this deck. I wish we had like a vote right now to see what they wanted to do. Because I could either charge, and the first thing I could do was play this card, play this card, play this card, and then play this card. That would literally clear his hands and his board. But it's a battle series, so I'm going to show you guys something else. So I will start my turn by charging four. My fourth. I really did wish I had a video. So the first thing I want to do before I forget and misplay, he has cards on board, battle cards, and I don't. So I want to summon this bodyguard legend because it summons itself for free when my opponent has cards in his battle area and I do not. Guys, this is really rough. I, I really want to show you this new card, but <laughs> I, th I have a feeling if I do it, I'm, I'm going to lose this game. Do it. I want to, you know what, guys? For you guys, I'm just going to show off this card. Yeah, it's, I'm going to hate myself for doing it. I'm just going to show you this card, guys. It's this card right here, guys. This is the new card that I wanted to actually play this deck and actually debut with the Mass Saiyan itself. Because essentially, the only thing that scares me in this deck like when I'm playing it, it's not really the battle cards or anything. It's really just a Shugesh Kid Goku play. So what I do now, man, this is my body doesn't want to play it, but I'll play it for you guys. So I'll use my first thing hit. First thing hit requires at least two red, but it's four total. So I'll tap four. My tap four lets me see my opponent's hands. Lets me pick two cards that are 35 or less and comp and take out his hand, warp it till the next turn. So guys, the first choice is obvious. I'll choose to warp his Piccolo. And if I look at his hand, I could pretty much see the most he could combo is going to be, he has two on top, so I'll take a 10K. So the most he could combo is 10, 15. 15 is the max he could combo, guys. So all I have to do realistically is just get this guy to 30, and then he cannot stop it. So what I'll do is I'll mill the top three, one that's crit two that's 20. so it's 20k right now so all you do is give mass sane to 15 when I, or 10 more when i attack and there's no way he can stop it so what i'll do is go ahead and swing at his leader 
he has no counters. I just saw his yeah, no negates. hand, so I'll draw. Mass Saiyan is at 20 right now. So what I'll do is go ahead and combo these two cards. The real play that I wanted to play was these two Kappas to make him at 30. So yeah, 30, because I saw his hand. Most he could give me is 30. So I'll stop at 30. Um, how many cards do you have in your hand left? One, two, three, four, five. So obviously you have, you're trying to have the same number for the second second hit, or else you wouldn't be doing this. Hmm. Let's see here. I mean, first of all, he's bad at math because he realized that I can actually out combo this. I don't you think can, he, but you'll have nothing in hand. Yeah. And then that legend can just give me a card, but who knows? It could be like a super combo, and I <laughs> like win with it. That's fine. Um. Or should I just try to keep these cards and try to hope to save the uh, next hit? Mm. I'm just going to out-combo this. Cool. So now that he out combos it, I know for a fact I could just swing with the Legic. And he literally has nothing that he could do anything with. Dude, that was crit, so I mean, who knows what I could get from this. You didn't even get a super combo. I should be fine. <laughs> so, I'll swing and no combos. Alright. He'll take, take the that. card. So now what I'll do... Is swing for double strike. No negates. He has no counters, so I'll just hand dump. So put him at 30. 35. Good game, sir. Oof. And there we have it. So, game two, guys. All right, guys. So, as you saw in game one, I actually did my math wrong. So, as I took the Piccolo and the Maiden out, for some reason in my mind, it connected with he had three 5Ks in hand. What I didn't realize was one of them was actually a 10K. So I ended up winning, but the correct play should have been to actually match his right number. So always always make sure you do your math right. So going on to the game itself. So what I felt, I had to keep the five drop Matt Sains in my hand because I didn't want to use him early. As you guys saw, he's playing a deck that spams. And if you spam it with just crit attackers, there's no way for me to actually gain hand advantage. The only way I gain hand advantage in this deck because I'm milling constantly is for me to hit you low enough, awaken you. So if you don't attack me, now you're not drawing a card. So I force you to attack me, my leader. You gain a card, but I also gain a card while staying ahead of you. Because yeah, I'm at seven life and you attack my leader, you're gaining a card, but I'm literally ahead of you because you're at four or less. So I felt like that game, I kind of got lucky too because he charged blue, two blue energy, so he couldn't really go off on me. So I just felt like I had to just, was already in control due to unfortunate circumstance with him charging two blues and just stay in control and not misplay. Like I almost at the end, so yeah. Yeah, like you said, the double blue star was really slow for me. Even though I went first and was two energy ahead, it just, by the time my deck started going off, it was just a bit too late. Um, but he, his deck's really good uh, matchup against me, especially with the Mass Saiyan card that warps, because the Veggie Engine has a perfect, you know, combo with Kaba and Khalifa, and if he warps those two cards, the engine gets shut off really fast, and that's a problem. But uh, I'm trying to get my barrier cards out next in the next game and see what happens. All right, so this is game two. Marcel's chosen to go first. So now, you know he's chosen to go first. Uh, now we get to play, guys. So I want to keep this card in hand. You want to keep this. This is for apparent reasons. I'm not going to use it off rip, but you want to keep it because you really want to put yourself in a spot where you want to search. You want to keep these because for me, it's really easy to turn this on. I almost want to keep my whole hand, but guys, I can't be greedy because I need to get one drops. So even though I like where my hand was going, I have to remember that he's going to attack me really soon and give me my card advantage back because he's going to be awakened really soon. So even though I don't want to put these back, even this one I don't want to put back, I'm going to have to just stick with these two and put these back. All right, so... For mine, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little bit greedy this time. Um, these three cards are usually not what you want to keep, but against an act, um, against an aggro deck, you might want to keep these just to survive a little bit longer until you get your engine going. And these are just a bit late game cards that you want to get out later. So we're going to throw those back. I see my hands. This hand on my guys is looking pretty juicy. So he's going first. This time in point, I actually wish I went first, but I'll take us away. All right, so 
my greediness got the better of me, and my <laughs> my hand is not looking ideal. I mean, it might pull off, who knows, uh, but we're going to just start by discarding a card and getting our energy out. Hopefully, since we, our hand is this, we're going to get double green or something like that. Okay, that's green, and that's blue, so okay, <laughs> whatever. Uh, we're going to pass turn, we can't play anything. So I'll draw for turn. Have another one of these. So, guys, I'm going to show you real quick what I would do in this situation. What I'm going to do is charge Increasing Evil Mass Saiyan. The reason why I charge Increasing Evil Mass Saiyan is because I have... I'll show it to you in one second. I have these two guys. So, I want to use this one first because this one has more targets. And I want to deck then, so when I do deck then, I could use this the following turn after. And another thing is, this has no use to me. Because even if I find what I want to do it right now, I'm, there's no way for me to actually do it this turn. So, I'm going to use this. So, I will, before I mill, use Toa. Look at the top seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is again, guys. Seven. So, what I will do is, like I said, I know he likes to spam. And, realistically, I would normally grab this because we were at eight life. But with him, he's going to wake in pretty soon. So, I just want to grab Matt Saint to make sure I stay in control of the game. Pretty good. Guys, make sure you guys... Get Matt Saiyan. I don't know why this guy is like, what, three or four bucks. PPG has the best prices for singles. So, for foil, non common, I mean, grab these bad boys, boy. So, I will mill the top three. So, one, no, I don't want to see that in the drop. Two, I definitely don't want to see that in the drop, <laughs> this guys. This is some weird games, guys. And three, I'm not going to say anything <laughs> else, guys. But this guy right now, Matt Saiyan, is 15,000 base critical. Yeah. So, just by going off with Marcel, like his facial expressions, he has Gohan in hand. So, I'm just going to, same thing I asked on you guys. It doesn't really bother me if he plays it or not. So, I'm just going to attack for 15k crit. Because if he plays it and stops my attack, that's fine with me. He's not going to awaken. And not only that, if he doesn't attack with the Gohan, I'm literally just going to eat it next turn with Matt Sand. So, I'm just going to end that 15k crit. All right, so Eddie likes to think that he's in people's head, but he really just doesn't know much about what's going on. I'm oh. just going to red super combo, draw a card, and out combo that. Okay, and I now I'm going to pass my turn, guys. So I lost no advantage for that. Just kind of cycle through my deck. We're going to draw untap. Finally, our deck's about to start getting off here. We're going to charge the green energy here, play our Kaba. Start the engine going. Let's go. Top 10. And we found both targets, and we want to use our... Oof. Actually, what we, what we did just learn was uh, he found a mass Saiyan off of his Toa. So is it smart enough to use this card? Or should we just get the kill and leave it in our hand to start plussing later? Let's look at our hand here. Uh, we can survive while awaken with this, but it's a hard choice. Well, this will draw us a card right now, so we're going to summon the Khalifa immediately and add a life to our hand. All right, not, not bad. None of our attacks are crit, so we're going to hold off a little bit and just pass turn after this. How many cards are you in after? I have five. Your Khalifa flip over. So he has five cards in hand and he's passing his turn. He has one life left, so I'm guessing I'm not. Unless I make this a really juicy attack, then I'm not going to get it through. So I'm going to untap, <sighs> untap, draw for turn. Uh, boy. I will charge this beauty so I get in my red flowing if I do see the first thing hits so what I'll do now guys is go ahead and I'm not going to use this because I need my energy this turn so even though in a normal scenario I would do it first this is gonna mill the top three I have three and drop already so it's one 15 two it's not crit three so what I'm gonna do first is actually warp to clear it off, so make sure I'm gonna pick his two targets because they're five or less combined and they're not blockers. I'm gonna tap one. 
The reason I did that is because when I swing with this guy, I'm gonna go all out. So unless he has a negate, he's gonna be at a weird situation. So I'm going to attack his leader. No negates. He has no negates, so my guy's at 15 base. So what I'm gonna do now is make him 25, and it's gonna be really hard for Marcel to get around it. Because we just saw he plays the red Goku, so if he uses right, red yeah, Goku, yeah, 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 okay. it's going to be <laughs> 20. We're gonna take that. That's that's too high so for an unawakened leader to take. All right, we got our cocoons in the discard. That's, that's good for us. So now that I have my Sam, I'm not gonna do the same mistake I have last time. So what I'm gonna do here is actually attack his leader and make this. Do you have any counters? No. And make this bad boy 25 base. Cause 25 base makes him burn two cards. We're gonna so, so unless it's a 10k, he's gonna lose the two cards he just drew. All right, so. We're going to use our super combo see, red so to use our energy advantage. efficiently and combo off our Khalifa cool. that we don't need anymore. Cool. Oops. So my combo goes to the drop. That was a Mass mistake. Sand gets warped. And now it's your turn. I did that backwards. I should have used this as energy next turn and, and sacrificed this in the combo. Anyways, untap. Draw. All right, we got to find a way to start plussing here somehow. Got two green already, so we don't really need more, but it won't hurt. Before we charge, we have, let's see what we got here. Five in our discard, six in our discard. He's counting. I see that he plays foo. If he foos me here, I'm not gonna lie, it'd be pretty good, because he untaps three. And he'll have two more cards. We kinda want this for next turn, just to start building up a board. Let's see what we can do here. Mm, but this is our barrier. So yeah, we're gonna try to start bearing barriering up our battle cards so we can stop doing that play over and over again. So we're gonna charge our green energy. And before we draw, we wanna search. Because deck thinning is deck thinning. I'm gonna read his battle cards. I have no idea what this sure. does. You look at the top seven for a, a maiden squadron card. Oh cool, he has and his own hand off the top seven. Oh she's a block oh she's a barrier. Yeah. So, cross your fingers, hope he lives. We're going to hit the SR Rubrian, which she evolves into over her. This lady right here, this card attacks. Okay, so the common theme is if they all three of them have to be on the field. But right now, we're just trying to start KO. getting barrier cards on the field and stall a little bit longer. And what does that put you right in? Seven or six? That puts my hand size at a uh, six. Six cards in hand to my four. So heal. So we're going to swing at your leader to no draw the gates. No counters, I mean. Add this card to our hand, and we're not going to combo. So I'm just going to pick one up. We're going to pass turn and untap energy. You have four energy left. I will draw for turn. Yep. And before I decide to charge and read this one more time, is this barrier does this give everyone a barrier? Okay, it just hurt she's barrier. So it's gonna go ahead and make me decide what I want to do. So you have seven cards in hand with three on tie. This is pretty dangerous. I see he plays Goku. The good thing about your leader is that you can still match the 15 while unawakened and keep pressuring me. So that's why I try to greet it early to start getting these cards so I can survive a little bit longer until I get my stuff on board. I will charge the black for right here, guys. You get a top seven, use my Champa. Deck thinning before you mill. You see, that would have been devastating. Three, four, five, six. Six, seven. Even though I found my card early, guys, I want to see the seven cards because I want to look through my deck and see what I actually have. So you see, I spawn up, I get my seven card, I have another one of those, and I got my target anyway. So, so unless he has, she needs seven cards, a lot of cards, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so we drop. Gonna mill three. Okay. One, two, three. So right now he's at 15 crit. Okay. Let's 
Seven in hand, so yep. 15, 25, 25, 25. So I will attack your leader. I will declare no negates. I will activate this super combo. I have five or more work. Draw one. So 25, 35, 25, 35. But two would need three cards, or he would either need two, ten. He could kill me next turn, but he could cop it. 25, 35. So you're really trying to go for a game here or something. I want to keep you at that single life. Because with one life, you'll probably, if, if I overcommit, you'll probably take it. And I have a bunch of life to play with. Unless it's crit, then that would super hurt. So 15, 25, 35. I want to make this at least even number so it's 15 25 35 45 so it'd be all right that's it all right so this is why we greeted out in the early game because we we thought he would try something like this so we have a lot of combo that on our hurts. side of the field that also hurts so we're at 35 all we need is uh 15 more so we're gonna do this and we're going to dump the Rosie now because we misplayed last time and get her into the discard pile. So we so have... We, we, got, we got 50 here. 25, 35, 45, 50. Okay. Yeah. So Gohan comes in rested and these go in the discard. Now we're at five cards to his three, which is pretty bad for both of us, but I think we can bounce back. Because what I'll do, it's, it's kind of a weird move, just because I know that has barrier, but if I, this is, this is a weird sort of choice, because he's going to have three next turn, which is kind of rough for me. He has the one maiden, yeah, he's going to have three we're going to be on board next turn. She That's does not count towards the effect of these cards, because Ooh. she is she have technically, in hand. she's technically Brienne de Chateau, yeah, and we're looking hand, for the yeah, but I can't put them all in one turn. Uh, so what I'll do now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel pretty safe, and I don't think Gohan's really a threat because he's not crit. So all I'll do is just use this to try to recoup hand size. So one, two, three. That's actually pretty good, guys. Four, five, six. That's actually there. seven. So I'll grab this mirror because with this mirror, I could actually play it and combo my Toa off. So that way, he can't really use Gohan to attack and then Kale for free. And plus he has to give me a 10k and something else. And if he has another 10k guys, he is really the number one ranked player in the world. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> that is pretty godly. <laughs> Holy smokes. He deserves that title. Guys don't tell him what we mulled in for. <laughs> so we will warp this big stack we have right here into mirror and okay. swing at his leader. So you only have two cards left in your hand, right? Two cards. So this is good for me. No negates. So I'll make this 25. So that way he has to give me a 10k and another card. So apparently, I'm the best player in the world, so. <laughs> That's why he's ranked number one. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Guys, this is exactly that. I guarantee he drew that off his piccolo, guys. He's ranked number one for a reason. <laughs> and warp, now it's your turn. All right, so this is the, the game plan. We're trying to build up a board uh, after surviving an onslaught of damage and just kind of stall out the uh, Mass Saiyan player. So how much life do you have right now? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay. So we're going to take it a little bit slow right now and try to just survive a little bit longer. Um, we're going to skip charge because we're kind of low on, on hand size right now. We're going to play our Maiden Transformation. So we're going to look at our discard pile and find Rosie and Kakunsa and play them on the board. Again, until she becomes Rebrian, they their effects, their special effects don't activate yet. But this is still a crit card, so we might as well just swing and prevent them from getting an advantage. I have no counters. I will not combo. Now this is the question here. 
do we attack him, potentially putting, giving him a card, and also putting him into a range where he can just play one card to ping himself so he can uh, awaken? Or do we leave him here and just stop drawing a card here and just try to survive next turn? Into that, I'm going to actually pass turn here and untap three. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to not charge here, guys. And what I'm going to do is, yeah, four cards in hand. Yep. Let me get your drop real quick before I confirm or deny anything. To work with four cards in hand. I like my board state right now because even if he mass sands, he can't warp two cards because. This is barrier, and then everything else can't add up to five. So I'm actually gonna do here, guys. Is first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pass my charge, and use manipulating on Chompa to go ahead and search the top seven. Five, six. So I'm gonna grab the double strike Chompa. Oh boy. Yeah, four cards in hand. Yep. Alright guys, now I gotta analyze how many 10Ks this guy has left in his deck, because it seems like he's used a decent amount. So one, two, so he has one more red super combo, Goku, and two more Piccolos, possibly alive. That's, what, that's what's great about running about eight super combos in a deck. Your opponent kind of gets frustrated going through all of the resources, try to kill you. So I will mill top three, one. Two, three. That is 15k critical base damage, guys. Yes, four cards in hand. Oh, attack your leader. I'm going to declare a blocker. Okay. 20k defense. You get the uptrade. Try to kill her. Four cards in hand. So, like, on, guys, what I'm doing is thinking is that even worth killing? Because if I send it to the drop, chances are he has another one of these viable cards. And that would be super minus on my part. Because I'm pretty sure he has another one. No, he doesn't. There's no point of sending that. I will right here, guys, just decide to... It sucks, but I have to let it survive, guys. So I will not combo. Alright, I won't combo either. So now I will warp my five. Tap one. To banish one of the maidens. Another mess. And... Alright. She's gone. I will attack your leader. No negates or blocks. So, you could just easily come up and go on, so I'll make it a base 25. Alright, that's pretty good. <sighs> hmm. So. He's right there. I, we could come off the Gohan from Boris because we have all this energy open. But we're the best, so <laughs> we've got another Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. And a Rosie to try to get her back in the discard pile. <laughs> she just keeps coming back. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, I'm just going to pass turn here. All right. Draw for turn. All right, so this is unfortunate that he just destroyed my little engine by getting rid of the Kakunsa. Um so we can default back to the the veggie engine since that kinda messed up. But we are really lacking the card advantage to start doing stuff like that. I really missed out he missed the crit that we had. So I'm gonna ask him how much life do you got? Six. Six you say Mm. 
I'm really scared of getting him awakened by just like a, a, a self ping card. And my cards in Nintendo are really all good right now. Do we default back to the Veggie Engine or just try to finish out our Maiden Squads? I think we're gonna default back to the veggie engine. So we're gonna charge her as energy so we can get to five. And we're going to play our Super Saiyan Goat tanks here. So we're gonna pay all five. And then we choose two green to untap and draw a card. Oh, wow, never punished. All right. So next we're going to pay our two green to play our Kava. All right, so we're gonna look at the top 10. Try to find a Kale, preferably. So we're at seven so far. So we got three more. And we found her at the second to last one. So we're gonna pull Kale and add her to our hand. So we could go very offensive right now against him, but um, I think we're not quite ready to, for, our, for our push for game here. I think one more turn is good enough before I do that. Now, I'm kind of nervous about swinging, but I think with our board state currently as it is, I think we can afford to attack to draw a card here. So we're gonna attack your leader with 15k. I'm gonna draw a card. And 15k is our final combo. No combos. So we're gonna untap three at the end of our turn and pass. Draw for turn. I feel like you shouldn't have any more mass sands to start warping our stuff now. My cards in your hand? At four. I don't want to do it, but I have to charge him, guys. Well, well, that reveals that he probably has another way to awaken this turn. I will first off. Use the Kaba. Okay. And attack his leader. No negates. Use my auto. Alright, I'll declare a blocker. And I will not combo anything. I will not combo either. So I will mill three. Jesus, guys. Oof. At least it's 15. I'll awaken. That's, that's exactly what you want because you don't really need the crit if, it, if you awaken. It'll just leave anyways. I will mill three more, guys. Though that's the last mess I am for sure. So right now my guy is 25 base. Mm -hmm. This is a rough one guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a lot of guys who just combo. Can I have to get a, a deck check right now? How how much cards left in your deck, sir? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. I'm Can gonna I... actually search. I just kind of guys. I'm just gonna flip my whole deck over. <laughs> you gotta pay that energy for the, if you're gonna summon him. Yeah, red energy. And go ahead. So you see my deck, guys. I'm hoping to draw one of these. If I draw one of these, it should be a good, good feel so i have a what one two three four five you seen how many i might actually be able to deck him out guys <sighs> let's go guys i can I shuffle it so I just polish off real quick guys let me your energy because it's on you guys let me cut this let me your energy guys i need this one <laughs> oof actually i could just manually get it by doing this oh boy he runs that card now I told him about it all the time. Two. All right, guys. I didn't get it, but you can lead her swing and draw a card. We have some chance, guys. So what we'll do is how many cards? You had four. Yeah. Attack leader. No negates. Uh, this is rough, guys. Two cards left in deck, guys. If he super combos twice, he loses instantly. This is super rough. 
Can I actually see your warp and see how much super combos I guess he used? There's one. <laughs> 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 what card left? Uh, 35. All right, guys. We got to split these attacks up. Because <laughs> there's no way I could use it. The other one is dead right now. So, so where is he at? This card is no use to us right now, guys. So, this is what we have in our hand. So, we could go. This that sucks. That, that super sucks. But This 100% is his <laughs> last turn. So, yeah, this is... My last turn. Because I can just pass turn and he draws a card and he loses. So no, I regret 35. I regret blocking maybe. That combo. Forty five. I was just scared of the uh, forty five warping card to get rid of her. So I wanted to block immediately. So right now, guys, we will go. Right now, on board, obviously, he has 25, 35, 45, 50. He has 50 on board. So I could clear his board and then try to swing for game. That's just an end. Okay, so you got to get to 60k. Uh, or no, 55 tie. You will win it. Then you, gotta, then you gotta do that another time. Fifty-five K combo visibly showing. Fifty. Fifty, he says. All right. Let me let me think about this then. So let me ask how much cards you have in your hand. Five. All right, guys. So if I defend this tech, I 100% win this game because he can't overrun anymore, and he can't summon any cards like Legic. Uh, or maybe made a mistake and had in his hand, I don't know. <laughs> so all I gotta do is survive this deck and I win, 100%. So we're gonna start comboing out here. Thirty-five. Forty-five. I need fifty-five. So we're gonna combo this from our hand. And what do we not need anymore? I don't think we need her anymore. So, yep, 55. I'll and combo he comboed out. And that's it, guys. Moving on to game three. All right. Up. All right, guys. So I barely squeezed that out. I think just I kind of stalled him out for the most part and almost got him to deck out, to be honest. Just out combo with your three energy untapped and you can, you know, survive for most of the game against any aggro deck. Alright guys, just like what he said, he did his math right, comboed exactly good enough, and I had one card left in deck, so I just conceded, because as soon as he ends his turn, it's literally over. So, moving on to game three, we're going to try to spice something up for you guys. Alright guys, so since I lost, I want to go first, but I'm going to let him go first, because going first, he doesn't start with an extra draw, and only that, he minuses a card, because he has to pitch one for his leader's ability, but he'll start off with two energy, but I don't feel like that's really that big for me to not go first so, so you, ahead, me, you can take first I'll one go first. two three four five six all right so this hand is although i start at two energy and i can potentially play this card um i feel like it gets warped too easily against his mass saiyan card so i'm just gonna send this this back and again these cards are just too late game for me to keep my opening hands so i'm gonna send everything back all six cards so guys, in my hand, I'm going to keep this, obviously. That's your one draw I want to keep. I did a mistake by comboing this way last time, so I'm going to hold it to my hand because it provides the removal and control over your game state, and he's not able to do a little lock on me. This put back, put back, 
I normally hold on to these going second, but against this, he's, it doesn't really matter because he's only gonna attack with crit, and I'm gonna hit this. So these are the three I'm gonna put back. All right, good luck, sir. Ah, uh, good, not good luck to you, bro. That, well, that's why I say good luck. You had <laughs> infinite super combos. So worst of luck, my friend. <laughs> wow. I'm just playing. See how it is. Good luck, guys. Thank you. <laughs> good luck minus the piccolos. <laughs> One, two, three, four, right. five, six, two. Four, six. What he's trying to say, guys, is that I don't need it. All right. Eight. Cool. He doesn't need it, guys. He's ranked number one in the world, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's your turn, my good sir. All right. This is an interesting opening hand. Hmm. This has proved very useful in the last match. So, and I didn't even get this off. So I'm just gonna. I have I have more in the deck, so I'll just sacrifice that first to activate my ability. I never get double green. I, I, I just never get it. Double red? Oh, at least I got the other green. All I care about is hitting one green because my... Uh, what, what's her name? Re Rebrands, the Chateau, or whatever. She only costs one specified green to play her on turn one, which I never get on turn one, unfortunately. So I'm going to pass turn here. Drop the turn. I'm going to instantly charge this because I was looking at my hand. You're not... If I <coughs> my hand this is my starting hand i would eventually have to charge this because i would just have to bank that seat later but thank god i drew the legic and he has nothing on board so it made it that much easier for me so what i'm going to do is like i said guys deck thinning is deck winning so i'm gonna look at the top seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. like i said earlier guys just because i found on my second card doesn't mean you don't stop so because you want to get a good look at what you have on your deck so you know i have one in hand there's two here so you know it's pretty good and it's not in life. So when it comes to a thing where it's, all right, maybe I should take a crit, maybe I shouldn't, because that's the card I, I could tell, because I don't know for a fact it's still in my deck. So now I will activate my leader's ability to mill three. One, that sucks. Two, that super sucks. Three, that kind of saved me, but it still sucks. <laughs> so I feel like you don't like milling, Eddie. You just feel, it, it just pains you every time it, that it, happens. It really does, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna use my leader to swing at his leader. For no negates. 15k critical, no combos. All right. Uh, I really do think that you should be comboing at least a little bit more here, mm -mm. just to. And now I will pass my turn. All right. I'm gonna draw for turn. I'm gonna put our late game cards out as energy, and. Nothing to play for a while, so we're just going to pass the turn here. So I'm going to draw for turn? Okay. So the options of charging, it's not... I don't... We're getting close to that turn, so I want to hold this in hand, so it's going to be between this. So I'm going to charge this Chompa. Use the Toa first, because Toa has more targets. So look at top. Seven, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna grab this crit guy, mirror. This, look, this look, looks like it's gonna be a heavy crit turn for him. Now I want to use Chompa. Mm, eat a lot of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's easy for easy energy and combo fighter, guys. It essentially turns that one job Chompa to a free 10k. Use my leader's ability to mill three. Okay, let's see how much this hurts you. One, not that bad. Two, give me red, please. That, that, okay. 10k <laughs> So what we'll do is attack leader. Nanigates. And because it's already 10k, guys, I'm not gonna lie. If it was 15. Maybe I'd be incentivized to make it 20 just for a Gohan, but I'm not gonna combo two cards for him to just take it. So I'm just gonna end with no combos. That sucks <laughs> for me. Uh, 
But what's good here about specifically my deck is that I'm fine with comboing these specific cards out of my hand. So I'm going to combo... Hmm, which one? They're both here. Um... Yeah, this, this it's just too easily warped out of my hand. So I'm going to combo out Rosie, 5k, to survive it and get her in the discard pile for my extra card later in the game. Okay, guys, so now he has three cards in hand. So now I'm just going to warp my warp pile into a mirror. Okay. I'm going to swing at his leader. No, he hits. So now mirror is already base 20. I don't think there's a reason to combo anymore because he would have to give me two cards unless he has super combos. Red Goku. So I'm just going to end my combo at 20. We're going to take that crit. He takes the one. So Oof. now, guys, I'm just going to let Mirror be warped and the, pass my turn. That kill would have been so good to have. It really energy. would have. I'd have lost, guys. <laughs> so we're going to charge more green energy here. And again, so much warping that his deck can do. It's too scary to start summoning battle cards unprotected by barrier. So we'd rather just wait until we get more options. We're just going to pass turn. So I'm going to draw for turn, guys. I grabbed this guy last time so I just I could charge it. This deck thinning is deck winning, guys. So now I gotta watch out because his Kells will be lot. So I have to go ahead and look at the top seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll grab this bad boy. <coughs> this is on top. So now guys, I'll mill top three. One, that hurts guys. I really need that. Two, three, but it is 15 base right now guys. So 15 base. He has three cards in hand. If I attack, he's literally gonna gain three cards. He's gonna awaken his next turn and attack and draw one. And I can provide no pressure. All right, guys, but I gotta be really careful here. So what I will do is <coughs> 10K, this is 15. Oof. This is rough, guys. I'll attack you later. No negates. I have no combos. 15k crit. Alright. Combo this. Crit. So now that makes it easier. I know I don't have to use any of these cards. Because he has nothing on board. So all I'll do now, guys, is just pass turn. Alright. I'm going to draw for turn. We're just gonna regret our decision in the past. <laughs> Alright, guys. So I will draw for turn. The only reason why I combo that Gohan is because I, I saw him find the mass sand from Toa. So I thought he was gonna warp it off, anyways. Let's try to get value out of it first. Charge my four. We still have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I'll do here, guys, is. I'll mill my top three. I mean, we are milling him out, so that's pretty good. Oh, it's that's kind of rough, guys. Because I'll give him a card in his hand. I really do not want to attack here, but it's rough because he literally just passed turn to me. <laughs> so, guys, yeah, this is rough, guys. So, I'm just going to. Oh, man, this is bad. It's 15, though, guys. He's going to take it. We're getting closer to death. He's gonna attack. No negates. No combos. Take that so fast, it's not crit. <laughs> now we're at four. We can awaken. 
I was just kind of hoping for a Khalifa or a Kaba from top decks. Yeah, five and in. Yep. All right, so now, guys, we will for seeing hit. This guy is a champion of all champions, guys. My goodness gracious. He lives with this pickle in hand. I'd be more surprised about the Gohans that I've found three so far. Can't let you just build a board advantage for free kills. I'm thinking. I know for a fact it's Piccolo. It's gonna be these could have in your hand. That's that's fine. I think in between this is for a fact. I think in between Fu, because you could just start dumping when you draw. So you only need three more. I'm not quite at yeah, seven. So. You grab this. I can't let you hit board advantage. So you have a full critical and go on. That's fine. That I see. He's gonna draw two more cards when I attack. So I'll attack you. No negates. He has one go on. That just seems. So if he combo, he's gonna combo with that because his kills will be live. He'll be at twenty-five. He'll be at fifteen. So this is critical on. That's for the Gohan. 25, 35. 35 is my final offer. He was very scared of the kill. So he's trying to get use, use his cards before they go away. Oh, now we draw her. 35 is a pretty annoying number to deal with here. But we kind of do want our, our Fu alive, so you might want to just use it. Our combo to 25, 35, and get our cocoons in the discard pile here. And put him into play. Your turn. So, how much cards you got in your hand, sir? Four. Four. We're gonna draw for turn. We're gonna try to. Let's see, what's the best option here? Do we just not charge this turn? We can get all of these out on the board right now. You said four in, four in hand? Yep. Alright, so. This is interesting. have six in our discard pile right now, unfortunately. <clears throat> so you just didn't overrun last turn, is that, is that true, correct? Yep. Now these come back at the end of my turn. Yep. So I will have pretty good defense for the end phase. Hmm. Do I charge or not is also a good question here. The dream, obviously, would be to find a kill off of this play. This is awkward. Yep, I think we're gonna do this play. Um, no charge. Play Kaba. Look at the top ten. The only target we have is Kale. Perfect. Should it charge? No. I'm gonna save her for next turn. I don't, I'm not going to say anything about this play until it's over, so Eddie can figure it out himself. We're going to swing at this hit. 
Alright guys, so I'm guessing what he's trying to do right here is so I'm going to hit and combo one to get a scientist food. So if he combos the one at the food, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's no point in saving him. So I'll just let it die. So I will, I'm tapped out so I cannot counter. I will draw a card. So he draws one. That's a really good card. Oh wait, yeah. Hmm. We did just do that in the wrong order. Forgot to play her. Alright. No combos. Just draw a card off that. Okay. So he chose elect not to combo. I'm going to play Khalifa for a reduced cost of one green. Okay. Activate her ability to take a card to my hand. Alright. That's the best way. Now we're gonna trade on that hit. No negates. Hmm. Will he protect it? Probably. So we're gonna have to combo up a little bit. 25 to make sure that it goes through. 25? Yep. Alright, now he has seven on board, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. He has seven and drop after that like, goes there. If I protect hit, he just didn't get a free attack. What the fool? Versus if I let it die, he'll have to summon hit and pass. Unless he swings at my leader, which I doubt that'll happen. So, hit. Thank you for letting me see the future. <coughs> With that Gohan and Pico. Right, so we're going to pass turn here and take our cards back from more. So, drop a turn? Yeah. The idea play was actually supposed to combo here, but I forgot to summon her first. I was trying to bait out the Toa and the hit card. I will not charge. So now we're in the grindy situation here. So now I will banish to my sand. Okay. Tapping one, banishing his targets on board. Oof. Perfect amount. So I will. He has 35 off it. Middle top three. Okay. One, two. Let's go in the red. In the red. So 15 double strike. So I will attack his leader. None negates. So that's 15. So I'll make him draw. I have warped. Oh boy. He's doing it again, guys. 15. 55. Oh, that big, that's a big number, dude. 25, 35, 45, 55. Double strike crit. This is bad. So, this is probably going to be another game where I just grind him out to his deck. So, how much cards in your deck is left? No lot. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he only has about two to three turns left. So all I gotta do is just kind of stall. So I'll take this double strike crit. No, my kills. The first Vrian de Chateau that I found this game. Great. I'm really tired of the barrier cards, man. <laughs> I mean, uh, the warping. Attack leader? No negates. All right now, guys, the ideal thing is to give him at 25, but I don't want to get rid of my hand because I know he can out-combo me, so I'm just gonna let him have the Gohan for free. Thank you, sir. 
Get up. All right. So, never let someone say you can't survive off of one life. It's possible. Let's grind out the game, guys. So let me check my discard pile real quick. So I have more than seven. Cool. <sighs> Actually, let me, let me recheck this. Um, one. I have both Rosie and Kakunsa in my discard pile. So warping it would ruin the whole combo by getting them out of your discard pile, but sometimes you might have to make that compromise. So you're at eight lives, right? To my one. Yep. So critting you down would be the best option here. Do I charge for turn? Mm. Hmm. I really wish I had my what's what's it called? Maiden transformation right here. I'm gonna charge a, a Rosie here. And I'll I'll try to try to draw it right now. Gonna get draw. I didn't find it. No combo. Fifteen. So we're gonna do our original play, which is just default back to the veggie engine instead of trying to win with the uh, maidens. So we're gonna scientist foo for seven. And I would discard. <laughs> draw two cards. Put your time in. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards in hand. Two to three. This is gonna look weird, but it's at seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I would just start trying to get some card advantage here. So we're gonna do Kaba the top ten. We can only really search for a uh, Kale to add to our hand, but well, we we can do both. But generally, we just want the uh, Kale. Ooh, we whiffed actually. There's no way. Yep, nothing. Are ten cards. Ten cards. Didn't find them. Her searching for maybe the red red cards too. If we have even more targets, that sucks. We're gonna play our barrier card here, Brienne. Look at the top seven for uh, what do you call them? Maiden Squatchin. Okay. Which one do we have in our hand? That one. So I'm going to add Kakunsa to our hand. And we're just going to try to stall, so we're not going to attack with anything. We're just going to pass our turn. And untap. Oops. Oh, it's not good. Over there? Yep. Six cards in. Yep. That Kaba whiffing really hurt. Oh man, I'm tired of that card, guys. No negates. No combos. Alright, go on. See, he's gonna stop milling because he's too nervous about decking out like last time. So, all we gotta do is just grind him out. 
and build up our board state. It's going to take a bit too long to try to get the whole Maiden transformation out, so we're just going to forget that. Charges energy. That's the best option here. How much life do you have? Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is our best option here? We kind of want to find some more cards here, so we're gonna swing at your leader. I think it's draw. That's a pretty good card. Uh, 15k no combo. Yep. I'll play Kava. Yep. Hopefully he doesn't miss this time. Five and five. That's ten. Ugh! You gotta be kidding me. Shit, no way. Yeah, one in life. <laughs> but you're running, you're running like 12? It has 8 targets total. Are you running around 12 with the original veggie package? Yep. So there's only 8 targets for Kaba to hit. You have Kalipa's in there. That's insane. I know, yeah. Jeez. Man, it's awkward. I'm just gonna play Kakunsa here. Yep. <clears throat> Maybe we can just hard cast the whole engine out. And again, like, I think last time was really bad with we when we um put him to five, so he pinged himself by one. So we're gonna force him to try to do it himself. So we're just gonna pass turn. Over there. Hey guys, man. Four. <laughs> How much guard from this deck? <laughs> this is sad, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I want life support over here. What is it, eight cards? Yeah. <laughs> It's not even funny, this is like super sad. He actually charged a 500, I've never seen that before. Me neither. Ooh, electric. Oh no, the first thing hits. He, he can see the exact combo he needs to win the game here. So. <sighs> He's definitely taking out the piccolo. Come on, man, let me have my piccolos. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna put in a separate That's pile. Your, this all warp? Yeah. It goes this to all your, warp? Yes. Okay, I thought that was a drop. Okay, so. No, give me my food, dude. <laughs> Alright. That's 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. 10, 20, 35. Level 3? Okay, he's going for it, guys. That's 15.
Tag leader? No negates. 25. Gonna come to 30. have these in the discard pile, it's really annoying. Yeah, 15 in hand. Yeah, with 10, so it's give me the 10. Wow, that's exact. 15 in hand, damn. I missed it. Is this 15 right now? Yep. Alright. Swing a leader? No negates. No combos. Five K, bro. This is rough. You're gonna get that jump back at the answer. Let me see how much cards you got. Five, and you draw two when you awaken. You're at combo twenty-five. Yep. All right. That's my hand. Very good. So that last card in your hand was a ten K, I guess. This is not good. Draw for turn. Oh boy. So no charge. Swing into your foreseeing hit. And it gets. Draw a card. Ooh, that's a really good card here. You have five cards left in your hand, right? I, I, in, in your, your deck. deck. Yep. You draw one, so you go to four. You draw two when you awaken. If you attack, you draw one, so you have one card left. And you can use any super combos or else you'll die. Pretty much. And I get these two cards at the end of my turn. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't get it now, so I can sign this foo. <sighs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> it's a really good play. But I do get my boost deck to close. Unless you can chain attack another forcing hit. Um, so I'm in the middle of combo, right? So yep. forcing hit here. I don't want to over combo here, but I might have to just to get rid of a battle card that could swing. Um, enforce him to mill with his leader to attack me. That'd be pretty good. And we can get another card, so I'll try it. I'll combo to 25 and draw right. a card. Oh wow, this this is good. All right, 25 to that. Oof, this guy's super dead. So, since I can combo with her on board anyways, I'll just play her hard cast for five, just to get her on board. But I'm not going to attack with her, because not only would that awaken him, uh, it would also mean I can't combo with her. So I'm just going to pass turn here. Over there? Yep. I'm going to bring these two cards back to my hand. A pickle and a scientist foo. This is the most grindy game I've actually ever been part of. That leader? 
Mm, just 10,000 power right now? Yep. No negates. Oh boy. Is it 30,000? Just gonna use the pickle that I had from Warp. I could just do this, but I'm, I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> so 35. How many cards in your are? I have three in card three cards in my hand. That's So literally be your three cards against my three cards. If I do this. <sighs> we'll take the challenge. Swing leader. No negates. I'm interested in why he did it in this order. Okay. Oh, because he can't because he can't draw his leader swing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cause he has one guys he has one card in his deck. That's it. I just pass turn next turn, I win. As long as, long as I survive this Kaba attack. Where are these mass sands, dude? Alright, cool. So we're gonna combo our hand and survive it. 40k. Oh boy. I just need a 5k. All he needs is a 5k, boy. BOOM! <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> like, I'm done, boy. <laughs> oh my god. My heart was pumping, but I'm like, I'm about to deck it again. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. I don't even need a 5k. I could just warp this. She's a barrier. She's a barrier. Oh, it has barrier? Yeah. Alright, guys. Um... It was a close game at the very end there. Uh, came down to this 5k combo, but uh, I tried tried my best to stall for as long as possible to get him to deck out, but it wasn't enough. Um, overall, it was a pretty good game. Uh, matches. The double combo whip was very unfortunate in the, in the energy at the beginning of the game, but pretty good uh, testing for the, the, the deck. All right, guys. So moving on, the that was an interesting deck Marcel had because he had pretty much two engines. He could just base it off my flow. So if I break, they didn't have my mass sands. He could play his main end package, and if I didn't break on it, he could just play his veggie package. So it's pretty interesting what he had going on. That was a close game. I saw he was trying to stall me out because that's pretty much a good strategy. Because when I keep milling, as long as you stop my attacks, it's pretty good. Because I only have a finite number of mills I could do before I actually stall it. Because in this game, once you hit zero, it's instant game loss. It's not next turn it's instant game loss so it's pretty good strategy on his part and hope to see you guys again stay stupid and be sure to check out ppg for upcoming events especially in origin we got some some big surprising news for you guys so stay tuned guys <laughs>